Good morning, dear students. Uh, here is the fourth chapter of your book titled as a Business Information System. And I'm going to give you some information about human resource uh, information system. And uh, these are the topics that I want to talk about. Uh, some of them are the definition of human resource information system, the place of human resource information system in organizational setting, and why we need human resource information system in our companies, and what are the models of human resource information system. And if you want to implement human resource information system, what are the topic, what are the uh, steps that we have to follow? So let's begin with the definition of uh, human resource information system. As you can realize easily, human resources are one of the uh, most important assets in uh, organizational uh, organizational setting. And if you want to keep human resources effectively, we, we have to find the proper way. And human resource information system is a sophisticated uh, system that helps us to keep human resources effectively and manage these uh, resources effectively in our organizations. So uh, human resource information system is a value added system and it includes all kind of information related with our employees, such as talent pool or uh, such as turnover ratings or such as performance ratings or age distributions of our employees. So uh, these are all kind of informations that we need, especially in the process of decision making. And a uh, human resource information system transform the data into knowledge. So it is really important for us to have this kind of information system in our uh, organizations. And there are some uh, related concepts with uh, human resource information systems. Uh, when uh, we use frequently when we talk about human resource information systems, such as electronic human resource management or talent management. Electronic human resource management provides a platform that combines human uh, resource activities with internet and internet. So it provides a platform. And talent man management is also related with human capital and it is looking for the ways to keep and to train our uh, employees, the most talented talented employees. So uh, human resource information system uh, enhance the ability to cope with talent wars. And um, the place of human resource information system in organizational setting changes from organization to organization. Uh, each organization has uh, its unique structure or its unique organizational culture. So the managers have to decide the place of the human resource information system in their organizational setting. But it is critical to bear in mind that um, human resource information system must be part of a uh, business vision or business policy policies. So uh, the other most important point is we have to balance IT knowledge and HR knowledge when we want to use uh, human resource information system in our organizations. Um, and why we need human resource information system? Um, firstly, it shortens the time to respond uh, quickly. And when we have human resource information system, uh, it increases the quality of our decisions. And also it increases our effectiveness. And it also enhances the uh, motivation of users or satisfaction of users of the system. Uh, I can say that human resource information system uh, generally increase the effectiveness of the organization and effectiveness of the human resources. But uh, there are also some risks with uh, human resource information system. Uh, firstly, it is really expensive. And sometimes the top managers don't want to use this kind of information system because they perceive that this kind of system uh, is a risk for them to lose their 
power or their control over organization or over employees and uh, they, they can be against this kind of uh, information system and the other risk with uh, human resource information system that it brings us uncertainty and uh, some unclear points of the system uh, makes the employees uh, stressful and they can conflict with the system and they uh, probably don't want to use this kind of uh, systems in their organizations, uh, in their work processes. And they are the general uh, risks about human resource information system. Um, we have to make a connection between human resource information system and human resource management functions. As you can see from the slide, there are some um, functions that are really important for the organization and for the human resource department. Um, for example, one of the most important uh, function is human resource planning. Human resource planning aims to reach, aims to meet the right people with the right job. And uh, to reach this aim, human resource uh, managers have to use HR skill or HR skill inventory. And they need that they need data to compose this kind of uh, inventory. And so they need human resource information system because human resource information system provides this kind of data, for example, experience of employee safety issues or labor market analysis. These are the information or the data that you can find in your human resource information system. So uh, to compose HR inventory or to compose uh, uh, human resource skill, uh, we have to reach this kind of data using a uh, human resource information system. And uh, the other uh, function is staffing. Uh, staffing is related with decisions uh, like promoting or like selecting the potential employees. And to give the right uh, decisions, you need uh, human resource inventory. And uh, human resource information system also provides, collects, analyzes this kind of uh, information which we need to compose human resource uh, inventory such as recruitment detail, promotions or uh, performance reviews. Without human resource information system, it is really hard and takes a lot of time uh, to form this kind of uh, reports or this kind, this kind of inventories. Um, the other function of human resource information system is uh, compensation and uh, benefits. Compensation and benefits is related with payment. So you have to calculate, you have to analyze, and you have to give future uh, financial uh, decisions. Uh, so to make the right decisions, human resource information system provides data. Uh, and by using this kind of data, you can uh, equally be or equally balance uh, compensation and benefits among your employees. And um, one of the other function of human resource management is performance management. Um, we have to see uh, the performance evaluations of, of our employees. Uh, we want to uh, see the expected and the actual performance uh, outcomes of our employees. So in this essence, uh, human resource information system uh, provides us to make online uh, reviews or uh, online performance measurements. Uh, by using human resource information system, it can be more faster, more easier for us to see the performance evaluations of uh, our organizations. Uh, the reports uh, that human resource information system produces uh, helps us to see the estimated and the extant performance of our employees. And the other function of human resource information system is training. Um, training and development is really essential. 
And the first step of training process is needs for training. It means that what kind of uh, training models uh, do my employees need? What kind of abilities or what kind of skills do they need to their job um, with a more performance? So uh, we have to analyze it. Uh, in this step, training, uh, in this step, uh, training, can use some data, some performance data. Uh, and uh, this kind of data can be produced by human resource information system. Uh, when we use human resource information system in the training uh, function, uh, we can more effectively design uh, the training uh, process. So, if we want to implement uh, HR information system in our organization, uh, we have to follow a three-step process. The first one is adoption phase, the second one is implementation phase, and the last phase is institutionalization phase. So in the first phase, uh, we have to find some of the critical answers, uh, some of the critical questions. Uh, for example, what we wait from human resource information system, what we need, what kind of support uh, do we need uh, to really effectively use this kind of information system? What is the expectation? What we, uh, what we want uh, from HRIS? If we know this, we can uh, easily decide what kind of system uh, we need. So uh, for me, the most critical phase is uh, adoption phase because we have to decide the kind and the type of, uh, of the system. Um, so in the second step, implementation phase, uh, has four critical steps. One of them is process ma mapping, and the second one is implementing, and the third one is testing, and the fourth one is privacy. Uh, process map mapping uh, helps us to understand the flowchart. We can see uh, what we need. So there are some non-value added processes in our organizations. and. Uh, when we use process mapping, we can so easily eliminate uh, this kind of non-value added uh, processes from our organizations. And uh, in the second one, in implementing phase, uh, we need data migration or software implementation. And the third step is testing. Um, in testing, it presents opportunity for us to repair the missing parts of the uh, system. And after testing the system, we have to keep privacy and information security of our uh, employees, protect and respect the information of employees uh, are really critical when we want to implement this uh, human resource information system. Otherwise, human rights are damaged. And the last step is uh, related with training the employees. We have to train our employees, the users of the system, to take the most uh, advantage of the system. So uh, these are all the information that I can uh, share with you, but it is more beneficial for you uh, when you read the whole chapter in your book. Uh, thank you for your listening.